Oh, looks like we got a little over an inch of snow. That's a surprise. <clears throat> it's 7 o'clock on uh, the 25th of January. 11 months of Christmas. Sunrise is at 7.01. And... Um, Sunsets at 429. Here's 29 degrees. Uh, <laughs> Nothing on the side of the game cameras. Again. <coughs> And, uh, just lost my train of thought. Oh, I forgot to charge up the high-rise camera. So, I'm carrying the second camera today. I, uh, <coughs> we ran to town yesterday morning, and normally... After I take these screw digital chips out of cameras, I put them on charge. But since we were on the road at 8 o'clock, which is early for us, to go to Lincoln, the camera's set on the uh, kitchen counter. What do you see, bud? Oh, tree right hand. Was you eating apples? Let's go. No, no, no. <clears throat> He's up on the tree, you can't get that. <sighs> All right, bud. No, no. It's amazing how those uh, sheets of snow are just hanging there. <clears throat> oh boy. It's Thursday. It's supposed to warm up into the 40s, which is not very good for the snow. I don't think we're going anywhere today. Well, yesterday, <coughs> when we were going to Lincoln, uh, I was expecting a package. Stopped into the post office and uh, asked if I, had, if I could pick it up, and they said I hadn't arrived. And uh, stopped over to Snowmobile Club, we had to drop something up there. And as we're leaving there, the uh, reader pulls up information on the phone, says it's out for delivery. And uh, I didn't feel like going back to the post office. And around uh, noon or one o'clock, they pulled up with the package. It was fine. It was a lot smaller package than I expected. The uh, one of the uh, companies I had as a client in New Jersey.
was going to recycle a, uh, a Mac Pro tower. They asked me if I wanted it. I wasn't going to take it, but I figured it might help me diagnose his problem he's having with screen sharing. And uh, I can't believe Travis Plowd. So uh, I was expecting a big box, heavy box. And what they delivered was a 15 uh, inch Mac book that uh, used to be this guy's wife's, but he bought her a new one. So this one was just sitting around. So I got that up and running. Installed this Twin Gate software. Uh, if you're into technology, look at Twin Gate. If you will have people remotely accessing your stuff or if you are trying to get into your legacy equipment and you have Usenet or uh, Starlink because this stuff is pretty incredible anyway I got the Starlink I got the uh, Twin Gate software installed and I uh, was able to try and connect to his machines but I couldn't. And later in the day, I could. So I sent him a text message asking if the machine had been off. And uh, it wasn't. We were using it all day. So I uh, tinkered around with it. And within minutes, I, uh, I saw the problem. I was still getting screen updates, but I couldn't do. I couldn't interact with it. They kept saying it would lock up. I thought I took that to mean that they weren't getting any screen updates or were able to do anything. So he uh, has the option of clearing a connection. He's sitting in front of the machine to an access remotely. So once you clear the connection, I could connect to it. So, uh, having seen enough, I told them that uh, I wasn't going to do any more. But I went back on it later after I did some research, and uh, I disabled shared clipboard and I was not able to uh, get it to lock up again so I don't know if that's the fix or not we'll see today somebody's uh, wood stove which is strange because there's no uh, no wood stoves over here Jenny just has an oil burner uh, Lynn Good, bud. <clears throat> He's looking.
I see some snow. Very light flurries. Yes, it is garbage day. You can see Junie's got her trash out. We got ours out. They uh, broke down a bunch of boxes. So there's two, uh, two boxes on the side of the barrel filled with boxes. Or cardboard, I should say. Good bud. <clears throat> Sandy and Kevin Starlight is still out and running right. I uh, stopped there on the way back from town to do some testing and uh, I could get to the internet over there system but throughput wasn't very good and as I was pulling away it dawned on me that the uh, Wi-Fi name, SS, it's uh, also known as SSI, SSID was not what uh, they claim it should be. So uh, I went back with the intention of changing the SSID on the router, hoping that their systems there would be able to connect. But the uh, the system there, there were. Uh, Starlink router says that the, uh, the router is not associated with their Starlink. It said the reboot, which I did twice, but that did not fix it. So I uh, posted a support request with Starlink. Haven't heard back from them yet, but other people on Reddit are saying to uh, disconnect the power or do a factory reset. Uh, not with the app, but actually doing a reset with the device, powering it off and resetting it. So I'm going to leave that to them. I didn't want them to have that as another test that they had to do when they get up here because they have such limited time. Coming back to grit the road, I hope not. Oh boy. Oh, we got flower again. Nope. In the center of the road, they're probably gritting. Where's the garbage man? I think it's garbage man. <clears throat> if that's the case, and it is, we're gonna wait and take the garbage can down. Right? Easy, bud. <clears throat> Who's that? Who's that? Garbage man. <laughs> Who's that? Uh. 
morning. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> As the roads looks like. Two st kill stones with one bird. Then just walk in him and take the garbage can now. When uh, when he's in the house and the garbage truck comes, he just keeps barking and barking and barking. So now you got to see it up front, up close. Easy, buddy. Easy. Got ice underneath the snow, I don't want to fall.
<clears throat> little shovel in here. <clears throat> I'll speed this up on the video. Alright, well thanks for watching. I'm gonna get me a cup of coffee.